Hey facilitators, uh, thanks for watching these videos. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna talk about some things that Michelle and I think about as we're presenting equipment, but might not be apparent in just watching these videos. So first, as we're welcoming a group, I'm trying to use a lot of non-gendered language. So, hey friends, hey folks, um, hey students, or hello name of the group. Um, next, we're pretty strict about that half circle that's so I can see the participants' body language and I know that they're paying attention. Uh, next, um, as I'm rolling things out, I'm taking a lot of pauses and saying, Michelle, do you have anything to add? When you're co-facilitating or when you're doing gear with another facilitator, you need to be listening to their rollout just in case they forget anything that we can lean on each other as facilitators. Michelle, am I missing anything? Um, the article that you read about... Oh, <laughs> perfect. Um, I read an article a while ago saying that people can actually only remember five to seven pieces of information at a time. Um, so as you're rolling out equipment, just hit the most important parts, but generally participants don't need a ton of detail about all our gear. Lastly, um, I, at the Adventure Center, we don't promise safety in any of our programming. What we do focus on is risk management. So as I'm rolling out the gear, I'm not saying this will keep you totally 100% safe. We're going to say safe if we wear helmets like this. Um, I'm just talking about the ways that they should wear their helmets um, and what we're trying to do with the helmet. So protect the frontal lobe, trying to keep the participant in the harness and connected. 